hi guys welcome back to my channel for those of you that are new here my name is gabby or if you're a returning subscriber my name is still gabby name hasn't changed now today i have patrick with me and we're going to try or i am going to try pronouncing irish names and patrick is going to correct me <laughs> if i'm wrong or if i'm doing it the right way okay so if you think that you want to learn how to pronounce irish names don't forget to keep watching this video subscribe to my channel um don't forget to share the video as well and turn on the notification bell so that whenever i post a video you get a notification thank you guys okay guys so let's get started and um, the first name on the list <laughs> Best guess. Even? Avin. Quite close, quite close. <laughs> I tried, guys. No, the third one there. Meeb. One more time. Okay, I have to learn the pronunciations. Meeb. Yes, actually, not <laughs> Meeb. I think you know one as well, so you've got no excuse. Oh, Lord. You guys, I'm going to be leaving the names here as well as the meaning of the name. So in case you want to name your child, you can use the name. Now, first one. Grainy. Close. Oh, yeah. A little bit. this one. The on. This yes. On. Gronya. Yes. <laughs> I know the on from Anya. <laughs> yes. Now, first one. Cleo Cleoda. Cleona? You're, you're surprisingly close. Cle Cleona? Come on. Cleona? No. Cle <laughs> Cleaner. Still though, a lot closer than and most to people. Think I met someone like two weeks ago. <laughs> Her name was Cleaner, and I never asked how to spell that. <laughs> Here we Lord. go. Easy one. Easy one. Orla. Yes. Fantastic. <laughs> I know that one. That one. I knew this one would catch you. I can only say sad. Sad. Sive. No. Sive. No. Yes, it is. It is. <laughs> B, B H is a V in Irish. Now, I no thought way. I'd leave the best Irish girl's name to last. Try that one. Black maid? Very close. Remember, what does an A do? Ah. Yeah. Say exactly what you said there with the R. R? Black. No. <laughs> Blonded. You, yeah, you were so close. Blonded. How? Yes. How is that even possible? <laughs> okay, that one there. You do that one. Which of them? First one. Deva? Deva? I'm probably being mean by picking is that a, one. But... I know it's a... I think. Yes. Dervla. 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 Now we're going to move on to the boys' you names. Guys, try. Try pronouncing these no. names. Obviously. We'll start easy. We'll start easy. See the third one there. Cormac. Yes. Well, Cormac, <laughs> if you want to be proper pronunciation. <laughs> proper correction there. There. That one there. It's the Irish word for David. Davy? Dahi. Da Dahi. How is that even possible? <laughs> Second one. I'm gonna leave the E and then just go for Fargo. Still really close though, Fargo. If you kept the, if you oh, kept if the first pair, if you kept the E, e you'd been fine. Ah, Lord. Now that one there. Yeah? My name and I Ah, uh, yeah, I know yours. <laughs> that's Padraig. No, come wait. On. Yeah. That's Padraig with the G. No. Do you remember the A's? How do you say an A with a father? Padraig. Padraig. Paul. Padraig. Paul. Paul. Now, second one there. Tad. Mm. That's the one name that I think goes with how you say it. Tad. Tig. Oh no. Tig means poet in Irish. Wait, I thought that was Tad. Nope, Tig. It's what I want to name my firstborn you son. You guys, actually. I have been saying it the wrong way. I have been saying <laughs> Tad. And then a nice and easy one. 
Ronan. Yes, fantastic. <laughs> and yes. then finish up with maybe a hard one. Oh Lord. Or an easy one. I I'm don't know which I want. There we go. I am. Girl's name, and it also means Ireland in Irish. I, is it Iron? No, you said Aaron. It. Yes. Bus Aaron. Yes. Oh, sorry. So it's Aaron, <laughs> but there's a bus that is the Irish bus is Bus Aaron. Bus of Ireland. Yeah. Yes. Oh, I got that one. And you got a you got a fantastic amount of them right. <laughs> you, you did very very well. I need to make it harder some other time. But you did yes, very you well. Yes, you do. I think Irish names in general are not are not pronounced or are not pronounce the way they're spelled no no different letters have different pronunciations yeah. like with some other languages so as in uh, a little tick above an a makes it an r sound bh's sound like a v sound yeah. and then a ch makes a h sound all these little things and plus it sounds different yeah. everywhere you go in ireland so there's no one diff one pronunciation for the whole island so the, it's the same name but it's different everywhere oh yeah you can get different pronunciations in different places in ireland what would you say your favorite irish name is Oh, a tig. That's your favorite tig. Irish name. It means poet in Irish. Hmm. So that's that's a boy name. Boy's name. What about a girl name? Saoirse. That's the S A O R O I. S E. You got it. Yeah, ninety percent. It means yeah. freedom in Irish. Oh, Those are my two favorite Irish names. The one Irish name that I kept pronouncing the wrong way has to be Anya. Anya with the A. Yeah. With the A, yeah. and it's A I N E. And I kept asking, how is that an Anya? It's an Aine. It's Aine. How do you get Anya from A-I-N-E? You just got to live it. You got to hear the names every day. I don't think Nigerian names are... I think Nigerian names, the way they're spelled is how they're pronounced. A little bit. But then yeah. there's the really long ones. Oh, yeah. Like the oh, tribal oh, names, yeah. they get really long. You c I, I'm going to bet 100% <laughs> that you cannot pronounce my name. If you got some of those names there, you're like, you got blocked yeah. very close. Like, I guarantee if I, if you could do that, I could probably do some Nigerian names. Oh, yeah. I'm, I definitely, could try my yeah. I'm definitely going to give that a shot and write out some Nigerian names well, from different ethnic groups because we have a bunch of ethnic groups in Nigeria and you know they're different names so mm. i'm gonna try that as well <laughs> and see if you can pronounce them nigerian names i'll go practice, <laughs> I'll practice too. well that would be that would be very nice well this was very nice i mean i did get to learn how to pronounce some names i mean i think that i'm going to forget them you did way better than i thought you would though i, I think, think i all <laughs> underestimated you i'm very impressed actually i've taken a call from someone one day and his name was c-o-l-m column and he said column yeah and I said, how? <laughs> how did you come up with column? It's com. No, it's different languages, different yeah. language groups. English is more like German, and then Irish is like Welsh, Scots Gaelic, yeah. and even some people in France actually speak a little bit of uh, Brittany. Brit I don't know what the language is called, but it's all the same language yeah. group, the Celtic languages. And they have their own pronunciations, their own letters, their yeah. own rules, completely different to English. <laughs> so when people see the English letters, and yeah. they come to Ireland, and they think it's the same, it's not at all. You got, it's completely Can different. Can you speak Gaelic? Is it Gaelic? Gaelic. Wait. This one. Gaelic is Irish in Scotland. It's the Scots Gaelic, <laughs> but in Ireland, if Sorry. you speak Gaelic, that means you speak Irish. Gaelic is Irish in Irish. Can you speak Irish? I can speak very little. My mother can speak quite a lot. She's almost fluent. So can you say? How are you in Irish? Kanisatatu. I can't even try that. Kanisatatu. How are you? I tried learning hello. Hello. Diagwit. 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 And I kept saying diagwit. And then Diagwit. the response is diasmiriglit. Sure. I tried learning Irish. It's got Irish. me with you and then and also with you. I tried learning Irish when I was coming here and the first thing I wanted to learn so bad <laughs> was how to say hello. And then I kept saying diagwit. Everywhere I would go, <laughs> my mom. Diagwit. Diagwit. As in, you I pronounce would say it. The wrong thing. It's spelled D H, but it's pronounced yeah. with a G. Diagwit. Do a lot of pe Irish people speak Irish? No. Uh, about 50,000 people still yeah. speak it fluently on a daily basis, but they live in very certain parts of Ireland because mm -hmm. there was a lot of history of persecution. Mm -hmm. The Irish language was banned, and after the famine, most people who spoke Irish fluently were the poorest of the poor. And they, since they either died in Ireland during yeah. the famine, or they had to go, they went to America or Australia or England, and they lost the language when they lived there. 
so the language is endangered at the moment. But people have been kept alive, keeping it yeah. alive. But it's a, it's a it's a struggle to keep it alive because most people speak. Everyone speaks English. Yeah, in definitely. Imagine if everyone spoke Irish. That means if you're coming here, you need to learn mm -hmm. how to speak Irish, and definitely it's not that easy. It's a difficult history. It's a difficult history. Many hundreds of years of persecution, yeah. people leaving the country, and people dying caused the language to die out. You know, there was a long, long history yeah. about that because most other countries didn't have that experience of everything was switched over to English, mm -hmm. but Ireland did, and that's why we struggle with our little tiny, tiny language now. <laughs> but we, we keep on to it. We're holding it. We're keeping it safe. Were you taught to speak Irish? Um, I don't know what you call it here, but in we school? call that primary school. Yes, we were taught yeah. in primary school and we were taught it in secondary school. How to speak which is Irish? Like high school. Yeah, how to speak Irish. Oh, that's nice. We were taught just the bare basics and then a couple of other things, but it was mostly for exams, oh, yeah. not actually to live the language, which is what they should do, but they don't. It's all about how to get enough points to go to college so you just learn off set rules set stories rather than learning to live and breathe the language that yeah. you should be speaking mm -hmm. but they might change in the future but they haven't changed in many years so here's hoping anyway <laughs> I, i'm <laughs> yeah. terrible at the language myself and i'm irish so if you if you had the opportunity if, if you were given an opportunity to learn how to speak irish mm -hmm. would you take it depends how much does it cost <laughs> <laughs> okay let's say it doesn't cost you at all it costs you 0 0.00 euro mm -hmm. would you would you want to learn how to it's, speak irish it's a tricky thing i've spent most of my life trying to learn irish in yeah. schools and it's it's a language and unfortunately it is dying out but it's it's been kept alive but you don't necessarily need it if you go to those places in ireland where they speak on a day-to-day -day basis they also still speak English as well, if you really need it. But the rules are in those areas that you have to speak Irish. Yeah. But if you're going to learn a whole language, this is just me being a selfish Irish person now, because it is, you can be patriotic and say yeah. that you learn it in a heartbeat, but it's learning a whole language that is difficult. So if I was learning Irish, it would be just for a couple of places in Ireland where they have those rules. That's it. Nowhere else in the world has a, it doesn't help me in business, it doesn't help me in this. And that's why the language is so difficult to encourage young people to learn it fluently because there's not many payoffs or benefits to yeah. actually learn a full language off by heart. If you learn, let's say, Nigerian, yeah. right, it's fluently, that's a market of 200 million people in Nigeria oh, yeah, that speak definitely. Nigerian on a day-to-day -day basis. But if you learn in Irish as a Nigerian person, that's 50,000 people in a tiny little part of Ireland. Yeah, that's not even, that's not even a lot compared to 200 million. No, it's not. I think the, I think Lagos is bigger than the whole island of Ireland. It has more people in it. Yeah, I'd say Lagos is maybe times four mm -hmm. or five or <laughs> I think six. Five. Yeah, I think it could be. of the whole island. Yes. yes. So, what county are you from? I'm from Limerick. You are. Yes, I never hometown. knew that, you guys. <laughs> but now I do know. <laughs> are you serious? Mm -hmm. That's so nice. Well, how do you find Limerick? How do you? How do you think Limerick, or what do you think about Limerick? I love Limerick. I, I love I, my home I've city. Here. It's the uh, third largest city in Ireland. Yeah. Third largest, and I personally love it the most. I think it's got a unique history, unique culture. We're not too big, and we're not too small as well. We're right in the middle, and it's just, you know, beautiful city, fantastic people, and, you know, just fantastic everything, really. I really like my hometown. I'm quite proud of it. Oh yeah, I'm proud of Limerick as well. I mean, I have been living here for almost two years. So you're a little biased. <laughs> well, I'm more biased. But I've from been here. to Dublin and I've been to Cork. No offense, Dublin. No offense, Cork. <laughs> but it's Limerick for me. Uh, yeah, it's Limerick for me. And I've <laughs> also been to Killarney, mm -hmm. as well as Kildare. Yeah. I've been to a few counties, and I do plan on visiting more counties. You definitely. should try and go to Kerry. Oh, Kerry yeah. is the most, in my opinion, the most beautiful part of Ireland. It's got the beaches, it's yeah. got the rolling fields, and it's still so um, rural. You know, none, there's only one big city in, in yeah. Perry, and it's still not even that big. And it's just beautiful place, lovely people. You will not understand what they're saying. <laughs> you will not. I want to go to the rings of Kerry. Or yes. the ring of Kerry. Oh, and ring Dingle and everything like that. Oh, fantastic. Oh, yeah. Just look up any of these places. They're fantastic. You will not understand most of the people, though. Oh, well. But it's part of the charm. It's yeah. part of the charm. So what would you say the best don't be by that just in case <laughs> so what would you say the best county in ireland is apart from limerick 
Like, <laughs> is that is that an option or? No, Limerick is not even an option. Okay, so Limerick is not an option. Because you are from Limerick. Okay, so Limerick is not an option. Best county yeah. in Ireland. It is, uh, oh no, it has to be Kerry. Oh. It has to be Kerry. I spent most of my childhood going on holidays in a little caravan down yeah. in Kerry every summer. And no, absolutely Kerry. I would rather Dublin be expensive with few people, mm -hmm. right? Um, than Dublin be expensive and with a lot of people. Yeah, but there is a third, a third of Ireland lives in one place, in that one city. Like the population is four million, yeah. one million live in Dublin. And the rest is spread out then. I think Limerick was the best decision I ever made. Yeah, you're damn right I would it is. say it was the best decision <laughs> I ever made. Living here, I'm like, well, it is a nice place. The people are nice, mm -hmm. actually. Only sometimes, only once or twice, someone has been a bitch to me. I don't know if I can say bitch on YouTube, but sure. Um, <laughs> you can. I yeah, you can. I don't think I can. Only once or twice, but I mean, it was like a brush off, mm -hmm. and then I moved past that. On Halloween, they shoot fireworks at people and they throw eggs. That's I, different. I've witnessed just one Halloween, um, or two, one, two, 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 mm -hmm. two, 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 yeah, two. <laughs> one in 2019 and one in 2020. Yeah, so two. Mm -hmm. Um, I mean, I didn't go trick or treating, but I mean, kids came over here for mm -hmm. trick or treating. It was really nice, and then we went for a UL school party either way. Um, and it was really nice. I heard that Halloween originated from Ireland. Ireland, yes, Ireland invented Halloween. Mm. It's called Iha Hauna in Irish. Mm. All Hallows Eve in English. Oh. It's when the spirits of the dead all come up for one day a year and then everyone is meant to yeah. go to church and go to the graveyards and visit their loved ones. Yeah, but nowadays, do that. Um, the American culture of Halloween yeah. has now come to Ireland. So instead of it being very religious, it's now much more of a party. So we still, some of my family and some other families all go to the cemeteries, go to the churches, but then for the most part, it's always pubs. Yeah. <laughs> drink oh yeah, definitely. And every the pubs. every holiday it's in Ireland, definitely always the pubs, drink. you guys. Definitely the pubs. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, this has been very very nice. Thank you so much Absolute for doing pleasure. this with me. I I cannot thank you enough. I mean, I'm gonna thank him, but you guys, come on. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you so much for agreeing to do this with nope. me. I really Absolute do appreciate pleasure. it. Really appreciate. Thank it. you so much. Now guys, you can thank Patrick in the comment section down below. And thank you guys so much for watching this video as well. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel as well as like this video so that all my efforts and Patrick's effort doesn't go to waste. Thank you guys so much and I'll see you guys in the next video, okay? Bye. Slot. <laughs>